and it is by Michael Paul. And that is he writes the book, which means they write the words on the pages. And he also illustrated the pictures, which means he drew all the shark pictures. And this is a popular ocean animal that is everybody's favorite. Um, sharks are very exciting, especially if you like to watch Shark Week during the summer. This might be your favorite ocean animal to learn about. Um, this book is a nonfiction book, which means it has true facts in it. And when we get finished, we are going to list three facts that we have learned from this book. So I hope you enjoyed the book called Chomp a Shark Romp by Michael Paul. There are many different types of sharks alive today. And you can see many types of sharks in this picture. The very big shark at the top is called a mega mouth shark. Over here to the side, there is a gray shark that looks kind of like a snake. That one is called a frilled shark. Up under that one, the one that is orange with the long tail is called a thresher shark. Right up under it, there is a blue shark and it's called actually the name is called blue shark. And then over here, there's a little shark that has a nose that looks kind of like a saw and this shark is called a long nose saw shark. Some sharks are gentle and you can see this shark in this picture. Divers are swimming by this shark and this shark isn't as dangerous as other sharks because this shark only eats little small small animals like krill and plankton. This shark can also be found at the Georgia Aquarium in Atlanta. But others are fierce, and that means they're very aggressive. That's what fierce means. And you can see in this picture, this is called a bull shark. And these sharks are trying to eat the turtles that are in the picture. And I would not want to swim with this shark because it's very dangerous and aggressive. Some sharks are picky eaters, and in this picture, you can see a basking shark. And in the picture, you can see these little white creatures going into its mouth, and these can be animals like krill or plankton that are really, really, really small. These animals do not eat big animals. They tend to just eat these smaller animals. You can also see that this shark has a very wide, big mouth to catch all those krill and plankton in. while other sharks eat almost anything. And this is called a tiger shark. And the reason it's called a tiger shark is you can see it has stripes on its back, just like a tiger does. And this shark is known for eating lots of crazy things. In this picture, he is eating a license plate, which can be found on the back of cars. They have also been known to eat toilet lids and tires and weird things that sharks normally don't eat. There are sharks that live together, and these sharks are called lemon sharks because they are a yellow color. And these sharks kind of live in a pack, like a pack of wolves. And sharks that live alone. And in this picture, you can see a cookie cutter shark. Cookie cutter sharks have weird teeth that almost look kind of like a cookie cutter. A few sharks like cold water. And this shark is called the Greenland shark, and it's called the Greenland shark because it lives near an island called Greenland that's a little bit above the United States. And you can see in this picture that there's ice in the water, so that means this water is really, really cold. But most like it warmer. And remember, most means kind of like the word more. So more sharks like to live in warmer water. And the shark that's shown in this picture is called a great hammerhead shark. And it's called a hammerhead shark because its head looks like a hammer, as you can see in the picture. These sharks like to live in warmer water, like those around Florida or in Hawaii. Some sharks are hard to spot, like this shark called a wabagong shark. And this shark is hard to spot because it's on the bottom of the ocean and it dies in with its surroundings. And when an animal does that, it's called camouflage. While other sharks really shine. And this shark is called a lantern shark. And it lives deep at the bottom of the ocean where it's really dark. And it lights up so it's very easy to see. 
hint the name lantern shark. There are sharks that are awake in the day, and this shark is called a short fin mako shark, and these sharks swim really, really fast. And others that come out at night, and this shark is called a pajama shark, and you can remember this shark is called a pajama shark because it comes out at nighttime when you wear your pajamas. Some sharks are bottom dwellers, and that means they stay near the bottom of the ocean. And this shark is called a goblin shark. And this is a really weird looking shark. Look at its mouth. But other sharks are surface breakers. And this shark is called the great white shark. And this is a famous shark, and it's named for jumping way up out of the water to catch seals. Today, you can visit sharks up close at the aquarium. And some of the sharks that are in this aquarium here, if you see the gray sharks near the side over here, this is called a leopard shark. Um, the little yellow sharks near the, the near the side of the leopard shark is called an angel shark. And you can tell that by its wings. It looks like angel wings. And then these little orange sharks are called Port Jackson sharks. And then the big bluer grayish looking sharks are called sandbar sharks. All right, so we just finished reading our story called Chomp a Shark Rump. And now we're gonna list some facts that we learned from the story. You can do this activity at home with a parent's help and you can write some of the facts that you learned. But I'm gonna write some of the facts that I learned to show you, kind of give you an idea of how to do it. So I titled my page Sharks, and I drew some shark fins on the side just to decorate a little bit. And I wrote one, two, three to list my three facts. So the first fact that I'm going to write is some sharks are gentle. And one of the sharks that we learned that was a gentle shark was a whale shark. So I'm just gonna draw a little whale shark beside my sentence that I drew, just to kind of help remind me that's what that sentence is about. I'm gonna draw them a little fan right there and then color them in. And if you remember, a whale shark had some spots on its back, so I'm gonna go ahead and write those. All right, now the next fact that I am gonna write is most, and remember the word most is kinda like the word more. So most sharks like warm water, period. And I, to my picture that I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna draw a sun, cause usually when the sun's out, it's a hot day outside sometimes. And I'm gonna draw some water up under there to remind me that most sharks like warm water. So I have a sun with some water up under it to signal that it's warm water. And my last fact that I have is some, not all sharks, but some sharks eat almost anything and if you remember the story we learned about a tire shark and you remember those sharks were known to eat a lot of weird things like license plates toilet lids and some of even eating a car tire so i'm gonna write i meant not write but i'm gonna draw a license plate to remind me about that fact and i'm gonna draw the license plate that we saw in the story I'm just gonna write some numbers on top of it. All right, so here's our three facts that I have listed. So we have sharks. One, some sharks are gentle. Two, most sharks like warm water. Three, some sharks eat almost anything. Now I want you to notice something about all the sentences of the facts that I wrote. I started with a capital letter at the beginning. That's the only capital letter. And then I ended it with a period. So make sure you do that when you write your facts.